Burt with Dance Network, and we are here at the LA Auditions of Season 14, So You Think You Can Dance. We're so excited to have you back. I have to say, your energy level was missed on the judges panel. Oh, thank you so much. It's great to be back. You know, things have changed over the past couple of years, and it feels like we're going back to a familiar format. <laughs> what do you bring, like re renewed energy to the to the show? Well, I certainly hope we go all the way back, maybe next year if the show gets called back again, because mm -hmm. I do love the original format. Um, I think it's a format that works, but, you know, we're still happy to be on television, certainly, you know, after all of these years. Uh, cutting down to 10, and after a year of not having the adults, you can only imagine now our talent pool is so rich and to just pick 10 out of that's going to be really crazy difficult. <laughs> well it is and, and I go back and I look and I think what did the auditions look like you know in the mid 2005, 2006, 2007 to 2017 it's much different the talent level is astronomical. Yeah it's astronomical and also you know the people that are getting so more inventive and mixing styles and putting them together you know when we first started so you think you can dance you would have never seen that you know we, everything was just so separate at that point and now the fact that the kids are getting inspired by the choreographers on this show that are also fusing dance styles together um, I think it's great it's it's great to be part of something that has revolutionized dance around the world and also brought the different dance styles closer together and just to be a, you know a small part of that is just like amazing to me. What are you expecting out of your ballroom dancers this season? <laughs> we need to know. <laughs> well, you know, hopefully we'll get some ballroom dancers on the show because it is difficult. You know, sometimes uh, um, they haven't studied other styles. Uh, to get them through choreography is not the easiest um, because they're, they're used to moving their body in a very specific way, just sometimes like the other styles. But if you start in a jazz and ballet school, you usually do jazz, ballet, hip-hop, uh, tap, and you do more style. A lot of times they do African and everything else. With a ballroom dancer, they're just strictly ballroom. And a lot of times they're either strictly Latin or they're strictly standard, which is Waltz, Foxtrot, Quickstep, and Viennese Waltz, and which we have never really had a professional ballroom dancer on the show that does waltz or foxtrot they would find it really tough to even move or do cha-cha which you know N nigel doesn't think that he thinks somebody that's a waltz specialist ought to be able to just do a cha-cha it doesn't really work that way <laughs> but that's that's what i love about having ballroom on the show too because most of the styles have not done it mm -hmm. and so when we pr produce a serious challenge for them it's usually the ballroom that does it yeah, and they're doing it in less than a week, so yeah. oh. how challenging your style is. So good to have you, know, you back. I don't want to do it. I know, I know. I don't want to do it either. Yeah. <laughs> well, so good to have you back and so wonderful to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you.